Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to be talking about the component diagrams, which is another structural diagram, not another structure of UML diagrams, kind of like our class and our object diagrams, because it shows the basic structure of the program. So as, as the name kind of suggests, the component diagram shows components, which is like a more broad and like a real case of components of the program. And how we in Plantium would create these components is simply just using brackets. You can either just use brackets to create one, brackets and give it like a variable name, or just use component to create a component, or component, brackets, and a variable name as well. And how they often showcase is in like a box. And then in the top corner, you would have this kind of this square with two small squares on the left side. But let's show another kind of example. So this is a planned UML, pretty basic example that have mostly just uh, placeholders. But in this case, we would have like a first component. It might be connected to like some kind of HTTP element or some other elements in we can use like in squares or like in maps or kind of like more clouds because we would often also use a component diagram to showcase like um, the connection between our program, structure connection between our program or maybe like the server cloud side and as well as the database and maybe the basic structure of our database. Like in this case, we have kind of like MySQL and in this case, just in a folder with a folder component and a foo with a frame component. So this is the basics of our component diagram. We have components and we again use arrows to showcase the relationship between the components and other components. But compared to some of the other diagrams, it's a bit more simple in the way it's mostly just components and a basic relationships between them. And in the next episode, I will be showing and going through a simple example about like an order processing system, the components of the system. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.